So this is called camera settings. I'll be doing a other video which would be more to do with how to obtain the right colour when you're going out. But this one's going to be about the actual camera settings on your Fountain 3. Now if you've got the Fountain 3 Advanced and Professional they've got slightly more so i'm only showing you what's on the standard so anyway i got into my dji go app now if you notice the top right hand corner is a little box if you press on that you are going to the academy and then at the bottom it goes uh simulator video tutorial tutorials on how to fly and also your manuals but every time i try to try the simulator it doesn't work right it's saying aircraft connected so i'm pressing the camera bar right so the aircraft status comes up i've got the latest firmware don't need to calibrate it because i'm just showing it to you so on the main screen right over here where it says menu press the menu so we're going to go through the camera settings first so the first one is photo i always use single shot you've got hdr you've got burst mode i just keep it on single the next one is image i try and keep it as the biggest one i can this is 16.9 image format you can either have it in raw jpeg jpeg and raw i usually have it on jpeg and raw white balance i keep it on auto but you've got a number of choices there you've got sunny cloudy custom i always keep it on auto style not really sure about this i always just keep it on standard color keep it on none vivid's quite a good one it's a bit like hdr black and white you know I mean, some of these other ones I, I don't see the point of but it's there for your use so we finished with the camera settings now we go into the video which is the middle one video size now obviously because i've got a standard i can have the 2.7 but i like keeping mine at 1080 and i'll keep it at 30 frames per second you've got a choice of 24 or 30 i keep mine at 30 video format i keep mine at mp4 mainly because i'm using a mac well because i'm in europe ntsc i think in america you use pal i'm not 100 sure on that and i always use the bottom one white balance i keep on auto but you've got the choice again if you want i don't think it makes a lot of difference myself style same again i just keep it at standard color same again I just keep it at none. So you finish with your camera and your video. And then you've got settings. Now on settings you've got histogram, you've got video caption, you've got overexposure warning, you've got grid. The only one that I use mainly is anti-flicker. Keep that on auto. You've got file index mode. Well, I don't need to do that because I don't want to reset nothing. So that, that's virtually it on the settings for your camera. If you come out of that, right at the top, this is quite a useful one because uh, it's called general settings on my last update which was the 1.6.80 i noticed that the top one which says enable a map for china mainland that was on so it turned that off and at the bottom you've got your auto clean your keys and whatever and at the bottom here this is also to do with your your um iso shutter i keep mine on auto so you could put it on manual if you're a photography buff but as I'm not really a photography buff, I'll just keep it on auto. That's it really. Um, like I said before, I just keep mine just the normal settings. And as you can see, a sunny day makes the colour stand out so so much better. So I hope that's given you a, an idea. I hope that's answered some of your questions. If you've got any more, please ask. I'm always willing to help. Please watch the next video. That's just going to be about what time of day that I mainly go out flying. Speak to you soon.